Welcome back. So we continue the discussion on solving counting problems. So Safaricom Kenya Limited surveyed 4,000 of its customers to determine the way they learned about a new tariff. From this survey, 1,800 learned of the tariff from radio, 1,900 learned from television, 1,900 from newspapers, 800 from radios and television, 900 from radio and newspapers, 500 from television and newspapers, and 300 from all the three forms of media. So there are four questions to respond to. One is to draw the diagram to represent the information. Two, using inclusion or exclusion principle to determine number of customers who learn of the tariff from at least two of the three media. Three, number of customers who learn of the tariff from exactly one of the three media. And lastly, four, number of customers who did not learn of the tariff from any of the three forms of media. So it's very clear from the question that they, we have four main sets. So set of those who learn from radio, those who learn from television, and those who learn from uh, newspapers. So when you draw a Venn diagram, we'll have a circle, uh, three circles within a rectangle. Let's work out the problem. So we have let you be the 4,000 customers who were surveyed. And then let, for convenience, use R to represent set of those who learn from radius. T, those who heard from television. And then N, those who heard of the new tariff from newspapers. So those are the main sets. So if we were to draw a Venn diagram, so we clearly know that we'll have the rectangle to represent the universal set. So which in this case is 4,000. Then let this be the set of those who heard from radius. Let this be the set, customers who heard from television, and let's have this as the set of customers who heard of the new tariff from newspapers. Now, without loss of generality, let's label this as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then H. Now, from the question, we have been told that 1800 land of the tariff from radio. So which means cardinality of R is 1800. And then 19 had from television and 1900 also had from newspapers. So cardinality of T, the same as cardinality of N, the same as 1900. And then further I've been told that 800 had from radio and television. So cardinality of 
R intersect T is 800. Then 900 from radio newspapers. So radio newspapers is 900. Another information, 500 from television and newspapers. So television and newspapers, 800 or 500. And then lastly, 300 from all the three forms. So the cardinality of R intersect T intersect N is 300. So which tells us that from this diagram, the value of E is clearly 300. Now, when we say cardinality of R intersect T is 800, so RT meets at B and E, so B plus E is 800, but E is 300. So we should be able to get B as 800 minus 300, and B will be 500. So the number here is 500. So we have made use of this. R intersect N is 900. R meets N at D and E, so it means D plus E is 900, but E we have as 300, so D plus 300 equals to 900, and it should be clear that D is 900 minus 300, which is 600. So here D is 600. Then T intersect N is 500. T meets N at E and F. So F plus E equals to 500. So F plus 300 with the value of E is 500. So F must be 500 minus 300, which is 200. So this is 200. And so we have made use of this. This cardinality of R is 1800. And R will be A plus B plus E plus D. So which means that um, if we add A plus B plus D plus E, the answer must always be 1800. And because we have three values, then we can always get the value of A. So A plus A plus 500, which is the value of B, plus 300 <coughs> plus 600 is 1800. <coughs> so 500, plus three, plus six is 1400. So A plus 1400 equals to 1800. And A will be 1400 minus 1800, which gives you 400. So the value of A is 400. Similarly, the cardinality of set T is 1900. And because we have four values in T, and of those four values, we know three values, then we can always get the value of the unknown C. So C plus 500 plus 300 plus 200. So all the things in the green circle defines T must always give us 1900. So C will be 1900 minus, so 500 plus 300 plus 200 is 1,000. So which means we get 900 at C. So here we have 900. And G can clearly be found because we know that the cardinality of set N is 1900. And now that we have three values out of the four values, we can get G. So G plus 600 plus 200 plus 300 must give us 1900. 
Now 600 plus 200 plus 300 is 1100. So G plus 1100 equals to 1900. So G will be 1900 minus 1100 and the answer will be 800. So G is 800. Now we know that if we add every value within the rectangle, the answer must always sum to 4,000. So we'll say A, which is 400, plus B, which is 500, plus C, which is 900, plus D, which is 600, plus E, which is 300, plus F, which is 200, plus G, which is 800, plus H, the answer must be 4,000. So 400 plus 500 plus 900 plus 600 plus 300 plus 200 plus 800 gives you 3,700 plus H equals to 4,000. So H is 4,000 minus 3,700 and it should be clear that this will be 300. So therefore the value of H is nothing but 300. So we have successfully worked out every value in the Venn diagram. So then answering the question that follows becomes much easier. Now, find the number of customers who learned of the tariff from at least two of the three media. Now, when we use the word at least, two of the three means two media and above. So which means if you go to this diagram, where we have two and above, so the word at least means the value you are referring to and anything more than that value. So at least of the three media means either, at least of the two media means either two media or three media for this case. So here we'll have, for that part two, we'll have B plus D plus F plus E. So that will be the meaning of at least two media, two or more. So this will be 500, plus 600, plus 200, plus 300. So 500, plus 600, plus 200, plus 300, give 1600. So this will be 1600. <coughs> so this was the number of customers who learned of the tariff from at least two of the three media. So the key word was at least two. So when you say at least two means two and above. So it means for this case being on three sets is two, common to two sets, common to all the three sets. And then the other part, the number of customers who learned of the tariff from exactly one of the three media. So the key word is exactly one. So from the Venn diagram, to be counted to have learned of the three media for uh, the information from exactly one means you are either in A or you are in C or you are in G. So the answer to that part will be A plus C plus G. So three, will be A plus C plus G <coughs> will be 400 plus 900 plus 800, which will be 400 plus 900 plus 800, you get 2100. So 2100 is the number of customers who learned of the 
uh, all land of the information from exactly one of the three media. Lastly, the number of customers who did not learn of the tariff from any of the three. So if you didn't learn from any of the three means you are outside the three circles. And the answer is 300. So H is the value for number four. So 300 customers did not learn of the new tariff from any of the three forms of the media given. Thank you.